Coming up in this video is going to be changes that Microsoft has made to its Windows lifecycle and how this will affect you. Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. If you are seeing a message set like this stating that your version of Windows 10 is nearing the end of support, you will need an update to the latest version soon. Every Windows product has a life cycle. The life cycle begins when a product is released and it ends when it is no longer supported. Now, the life cycle policy gives customers cons consistent, transparent, predictable guidelines for software support and servicing. Now, knowing these key dates in this life cycle does help make informed decisions about when to update, upgrade, or perhaps make changes to your software. Earlier versions of Windows had a 10-year life cycle. This was known as the fixed life cycle policy. Earlier versions of Windows had a 10-year life cycle. This was governed by the Microsoft's fixed life cycle policy. The first half of the life cycle was called the mainstream phase. Now this involved major changes to Windows. For example, Windows 8 was first released in 2012. It was later updated to Windows 8.1 in the late 2013, and this was giving Windows 8 a complete makeover. Now, this also provided security updates and non-security updates during the mainstream phase. The second half of the life cycle was the extended support phase. This provided security updates and patches to Windows through the remainder of the life cycle. When the operating system reaches the end of its life cycle, all support is stopped. No more updates, security patches, and so forth the operating system is officially retired. And soon, software developers also do the same thing by stopping their support for the retired operating system. Windows 7's life cycle recently ended in January 2020. And Windows 8.1's life cycle will end in January 2023. Now, since the release of Windows 10 in 2015, Microsoft did make some changes to its Windows lifecycle policy in 2018, creating the new modern lifecycle policy. Now, this new policy provides continuous support and servicing for different Microsoft products. Windows 10 was placed in the modern lifecycle policy and is now treated as a service receiving periodic updates known as feature updates. These updates are released around March and September each year. Now, instead of the usual 10-year life cycle, Microsoft switched to an 18-month cycle. This means that the version of Windows 10 installed on your PC will lose support after 18 months from its release date. For example, the last feature update was version 1909. It was released November 2019 and its support will end May 2021. This is a list of the current Windows 10 versions and their end of support date. The latest version, 2004, is due out May 2020, so that would make its support end November 2021. To see which version of Windows 10 is installed on your PC, what you'll want to do is click down here in the lower left and click the Start button and then you want to go up here to settings. Once you're in settings, you'll want to go to system. Under system, look to the left and you want to go down to the very bottom and click on about. On the right, you'll want to scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see Windows specifications. Uh, this will show the edition that you have installed and it's also going to show the version that is currently installed. You will also notice in the list that if you are using Windows version 1809, that it was extended from May of 2020 to November of 2020. Windows 10 Pro and higher versions 
do have the option to defer the semi-annual feature updates for a limited number of days. On devices that have not been configured for deferral, we'll need to install the latest feature update to help keep the device secure and remain supported by Microsoft. Now for Windows 10 Home versions, they cannot defer feature updates and will automatically install new feature updates prior to the end of service date of the current version installed. According to Microsoft, products and services governed by the modern lifecycle policy are supported as long as customers stay current as per the servicing and licensing requirements published for the product or service and have the rights to use the product or service. Microsoft will provide a minimum of 12 months prior notification before ending support for products governed by the modern lifecycle policy without providing a successor product or service except for free products, services, or preview releases. Continuous servicing and support may include non-security and security updates, new product builds, new feature requests, access to online content including knowledge base and webcast, phone support, and online support. Support will be provided continuously if customers stay current by following the servicing guidelines for the product or service. To stay current, a customer must accept all servicing updates and apply them within a specific time frame per the licensing and servicing requirements for the product or service. Updates ensure that you have the most recent features and security improvements for your current version of Windows. The feature updates are cumulative, uh, meaning that each update is built on top of the previous updates. In between the feature updates, we have the monthly cumulative and security updates. Now, these are known as quality updates and they patch security vulnerabilities, fix known issues, or add or remove some options in Windows. Feature updates include all the updates since the last feature update that was installed on your PC, plus any new updates and features. For example, if you have version 1809 installed and you did not install any updates, when Windows installs the 2004 feature update, you will get all the updates since you last installed 1809, plus any of the new features that 2004 offers. Now, let's say that you have been installing updates since 1809. Then when you try to install 2004 feature update, Windows only needs to install the most recent changes and it takes less time to install. Be advised that some features in an update may not work on your PC. Your device may not be able to receive updates if the device hardware is incompatible, lacks current drivers, lacks sufficient storage space, or is otherwise outside the original equipment manufacturer's support period. For example, if you were to upgrade, say, a XP or a Vista computer to Windows 10, many of the features will most likely not work, including some hardware in the Windows 10 environment. Now, the same will eventually happen to Windows 7 and Windows 8 computers as Windows 10 changes and technology advances. Older technology would no longer be supported. To ensure that you do have the latest updates to Windows, what you'll need to do is make sure that you go into settings as I shown earlier, and then go into update and security. You'll come to the Windows update page and just click on check for updates. And as it checks, it's gonna make sure that you have any newest updates that needs to be installed. Any updates that it will find will go ahead and begin the installation and downloading. If for some reason that you do start having problems installing the new feature updates or any of the other updates, then there are alternatives. Um, you can try to uh, go ahead and click retry and then the computer will try to uh, redo the updates. But if it still continues to have problems with the updates, uh, there is an alternative 
that can help fix the Windows Update problem. Oftentimes, if the update fails, it means that there may be some missing components to the update service um, as to why it can't do the installation. In the event that you are having trouble with Windows feature updates, your best option would be to go to the Microsoft's website and download their update assistant. And what this will do is when you download it and run the application, it will download anything that may be missing to the Windows Update service. This way, once the updates are completed, then it will be able to install the other updates like the feature update. Uh, for instance, to get the latest update, uh, you'll see this option here. Uh, this is the Windows 10 November 2019 update. Now this is the 1909 version uh, that was released in November. Uh, this is the most recent one that they have. And as I said, the 2004 will be out sometime in May. Uh, it'll probably be late May. Now you can also use um, the creation of a Windows installation media. And what this does is, let's say that you have a computer that doesn't always have an internet connection. What this will do is allow you to install the update on all your computers. Uh, if you have multiple computers, instead of trying to have each computer to install the updates, um, you can have this create a installation disk and this disk can be used to update all your computers. Well, this concludes this video. And remember, uh, you are on a month, 18 month cycle. Uh, there's no longer a 10 year life cycle on the Windows now. So you wanna make sure that you do stay up to date with the latest feature updates and quality fix updates. And if you are having any trouble with the Windows updates, just go to the down, download Windows 10 uh, website as I showed a moment ago, and it will allow you to be able to install the latest updates. Now you can use this right here as a reference and I will have the link to the feature update uh, in the video description below. So be sure if you have any trouble, click on that link and you'll be able to download the update assistance to help you get your latest updates installed. Well, I'm your host, Mitchell Fixer from ES Repair. Thank you for watching.